So today we're playing with green yeast. Green dye. Um, okay, it's not really yeast, and yeast isn't really green, um, yes. but we want to show you um, how your alcohol fermentation is going to work. So for the fermentation experiment, we're gonna be looking at yeast and how yeast is going to be producing carbon dioxide. Um, it's going to be using the sugar that we give it, hopefully, in order to produce more and more carbon dioxide, just like yeast would be used to make bread and yeast and beer, right? So yeast, I said yeast, I meant yogurt. <laughs> yogurt. <laughs> It's okay. Or whatever. It's okay. Uh, so Food. with the fermentation tubes, notice that they are very interestingly shaped. Um, and this does make them sometimes a little challenging to use and um, interesting to clean. Uh, breakable as well. So very please breakable. be very careful with them. They aren't cheap either. Um, so when you do this experiment, you're going to have five different fermentation tubes. Please try to grab the same sized ones when you do this because otherwise it gets all thrown off. So all five of them should look about the same. And then you're going to put the solution that it asks for. So we use all of the solutions that um, are going to be based on sugar, mostly, right? Glucose, uh, lactose, and sucrose. So you're going to use this fancy pipe header that Liz has for us. Um, and this is the they're interesting pipe headers, right? They have a little wheel on it. Turn, there you go. Turn the little wheel, and that's actually going to suck up the solution into the pipette. Now, we usually have five milliliter pipettes, so that pipe header will go up to right here where it says zero. A little bit farther down into view. There you go. Um, so that's going to be fine. I'm like, they can't see that. Okay, so this goes from z zero up to five milliliters, and we're going to need to do two of these because we need 10 milliliters of our first solution. So our first solution we'll have in one of these cool Erlenmeyer flasks. So Liz will suck up the five milliliters okay, and then put it into our fermentation tube. Okay, and then she'll do it again because we need 10. Ooh. Pulling up some water there, or some, some water. Pulling up some air. Some air, air some bubbles. Water. All right. Bubbles. Bubbles. And you put that into the fermentation tube. Okay, and then you'll see that the water is up to here in the little bubble, but it co only comes up to here when we're talking about this stem. Did you call it the stem? I like the stem. All right, I have no idea what that's called. I don't know what it's called either. <laughs> so I think I call it the arm. The arm. All right, the arm, like stem, stem, whichever like way we're I, looking here. So now we're going to take the yeast, which in this case we're using green dye. Again, yeast, not green. <laughs> right, and you're going to put five milliliters of the yeast solution into the fermentation tube. So when you do that, what you'll notice is that the green, in this case the yeast, is really concentrated in the little bulb. Okay, but we are gonna be needing to measure the carbon dioxide and that's gonna have to be happening up here where you can see there's a little measurement thingy. Um, you're gonna be measuring all the way up to the top. So you've gotta do a little dance. Make the fermentation do a little <laughs> tube, do a little dance. Okay, and as you tilt it, the water's not going to come out the opening. It's going to go all the way up to the top. And when you set it back down, science! Magic! <laughs> science, no magic. All right, now we've got the fluid all the way to the top of the arm. Whatever you want to call it. Stem. I'm good whatever. with stem. Okay. Um, and then we're going to have the yeast kind of all throughout the water and it will settle. You'll see a little clump of it settle at the bottom when you let the thing run. And then we put it into a um, incubator and it's gonna get all warm and happy um, after we cover it with this really cool stuff called parafilm. If they would make this for my kitchen, I would buy so much of it. Um, you're gonna cover up the ends. I think they make something. Yeah, really, well, like it's, it's not as good. No, it's not, not as good. good. Saran wrap yeah. sucks. All right, so then this is going to go into the into the incubator and going to sit for 50 minutes. And then at the end, you're going to see that the yeast produces carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide will go up the arm, and you'll have different measurements up here um, for the sucrose, the lactose, and the glucose.